Hello, barely victorious tubers, and welcome back to Let's Play Xenonauts with me, Blue Ankylo, and the Twitch chat. In the last episode, somehow our crew sur managed to survive with no casualties against a bunch of seasons. Um, we may have lost a few arms and legs on our shield men, but uh, somehow they're still standing, and they'll be back in battle soon, although perhaps not this soon. 1,400 kilometers, it's a small one. A very small one. You can tell by how fast they're moving. 2,000 is the medium scale. It's also just barely in our range. We might not be able to get it. Oh, it landed! Oh, no. <laughs> and then things get interesting. Alright, well, what we need to do first is send a condor... Because if it gets back up, I think it shoots the dropship down. If the dropship is about to land, about to start a mission, and it starts to fly away. So we've got to send one of those to kind of protect the dropship. But, uh, yeah, we got, another, we got ourselves another mission. So, do we have enough soldiers to go on a mission? We're still a few days off here. War Keem is hurt. Fella, yeah, you're ready to go. I like I like your spirit, but uh, you just hold on till you're healed up. <laughs> Fella's ready to go. He's not in med bay. He's got about half health, give or take. So imagine he's missing probably one arm and one leg, and uh, but he's ready to strap that shield on his stump and get out there into the fight. And uh, War Keem, I don't know. You guys just need to heal up. Um, yeah, we're gonna take fully healed up rookies basically. In fact, Johnson, we're gonna we're gonna bring like your your child the third, because I say I essentially. Well, wait, no, I don't have to. Hold on. I thought I needed to send in everyone, but okay. I really do need some more soldiers here. We're still a long way off from the end of the month. Um, sheesh. Is there anyone worth recruiting? Forty-one time units is pretty low, but I guess we'll bring in these two. Maybe, maybe three more, not terribly amazing, but four more. Tell you what, four more. I'm worried that we're going to run into soldiers for actual missions here real quick. Okay. I think our new privates, who don't even have names, are going to be shield masters. Because our two normal shield masters are currently on uh, leave. I won't let them back into the game until they're... Stitches are all pulled out and somehow regrown their arms and legs. And I think I like, in fact, I'm going to change this rule right here. I like having that spare rifle for after the shield goes down. So let's save this as, uh... As a different... Well, let's just say this is what a, a shield guy is, basically. That's the default shield. So now when we select shields, it just automatically equips it like that. Because I think that's a little bit better. Now, if some people will have more or less strength. We can just tweak the grenades on it, basically. Uh, so we got shield, shield, sniper. Pixel was a good sniper. A couple assaults. The heavy weapon did a good job at the beginning, too, actually. Got a couple kills. Johnson continues to somehow survive. McKenna... Well, I do need a couple people. I need someone with a machine gun, or a couple riflemen, basically. For now. You're building your strength up. You've been doing some push-ups. You know, you're getting better. This new guy, very brave. Perfect person to put a shield on. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna play with it too much. Let's let's get out there and do a landed UFO. 10 hours. So, uh, let's send the third one at 7 hours from now, 2234. We need to send them at about 534, or maybe 530, a little bit early so this works out, so we don't get blown up. Maybe 520. Alright, 1 o'clock. 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock, this guy's coming home now, that's fine, 
Four o'clock. Five o'clock. Yeah, good, good, good. Stop, stop. Launch interceptors. There's no, like, full-on pause. Like, it just slows it down to... Not bad. Okay. Send out the last one. It should arrive slightly before the dropship, therefore protecting it if this thing tries to fly away, or tries to shoot us down. I think I did my math correctly. Looks pretty good. Aha! Look at this! No! <laughs> I had the timing so good, and it still found a small window to escape. No! Don't you... They're trying to kill all of our crew by cheating! I would reload if that happens. That would be garbage. Anyway, we've researched alien plasma technology. We've learned all about plasma stuff. Look at all these things. Spiral electromagnets... If you could see my face and my finger right now, there may not be a sensor array, but we've got graviton emitters and particle accelerators. I think, I think chat knows what's up. The obvious next step is to build guns. <laughs> oh, I can't believe we missed that. Try again. Okay, it's it's not a, an interceptor, so it's not going after our ship. Ah, oh, we messed that all up. So, UFO sightings, communications, it did its mission, it escaped, we got nothing. I, I guess I needed to have more ships there all the time for when it did... Ah. The timing was just too brutal. I thought we were ready, we weren't. Anyway, it gives us a chance for some of the soldiers to heal up, regrow some limbs. Plus, we got spare soldiers in the mail. And we're researching. Okay, this is another little one. Please tell me we can shoot this down this time. A very small, it's actually an interceptor. These are also new. So, um... I might send two for this one. Although I think one-on-one -on -one will be okay for now. These guys get very difficult later on. They are specifically designed to fight our air game. Ah, just all to resolve it. Little guys, yeah, we shoot them down real quick. That's fine. Fighter data core. In fact, I believe we will never get a mission from those. They just get blown up. Light scouts, we've killed quite a few. Alright, well, we got our mission anyway. I'm gonna let, uh, I'm gonna let the, the old shields, I'm gonna let, uh, Fella McGubbins take a break. I've got a, I've got a squad ready to go, so let's go. Once these guys are duly destroyed and, uh, shot up, we'll, we'll bring the, the original team back in. Ground combat loading. Alright. Alright. Luckily, they kind of remembered my layout, and I forgot to check it, so that's good. Not bad at all, actually. Don't don't worry, fella. You'll be back soon enough. Next mission, I'll put you back in. We've got to let these rookies give it a try. I know they don't even have names. Hey, it's a police officer and a civilian. It's nice to not be surrounded by aliens at the exit for once. Wow, what a nice safe drop zone. Right by the edge of the map. There could be aliens in there, there could be aliens over there. Those civilians will cover for us one way or the other. We're not really leaving the UFO the we're not really leaving the ship on the first turn. So we're just gonna chill. Alright, we saw one down there. Those civilians didn't get killed, so it's unlikely there's any aliens in that section. There is definitely an alien down there, though. How do we even get in there? Oh, there's a little hole in the... There's a, there's a hole in the fence. Alright, Big Johnson. They don't call you big for nothing. They better not, anyway. 
Actually, I don't know how you got your nickname, to be honest. I don't, I don't remember if you explained that in the, uh, in the chat. You might have. I might have missed it. Okay, we're not going to go rushing out. Hide over here. Yeah, that's fine. It's ironic he's four foot tall. I got it. I got it. All right. Not maybe my best movement for the first for the couple of first rounds here, but. Maybe it'll work out. Shoot him! Not Johnson again! <laughs> I should have known that was a horrible spot. I thought we were just around, out of sight, around the corner. I was wrong. Big Johnson wasn't small enough to dodge that. I feel real bad. I should almost reload, because that was a pretty bad, pretty bad decision. I knew there was a season there, but I thought we were hiding that he wouldn't get a shot on him. Oh, that's, that's bad news. Well, and then I put a sniper right beside him. What was I even thinking here? I think I meant to move deploy up like that. Uh, yeah, that was a misplay for sure. Well, you know, the, the rookie will be fine. You, go, you guard that corner. You take a shot, too. Yeah, he really, he arrived in paradise at last. Yeah. This is enough for a normal shot. 48%, huh? There you go. Uh, that's what I needed to see. Unfortunately, the suppression completely ruined pixelated was chance. <sighs> want to get this guy killed if we can pull it off. 28. Come on. What are you guys doing? What are you guys trying to do to me here? Fifteen is not enough for a shot. Eighteen is enough for a snapshot. Maybe we get lucky. Thirteen percent. Suppressed him. This is not working out for one season. Holy smokes. Wow. Okay, you know what? I'm going to use my uh, once per stream restart. I mean, that was cool, but, like, yeah. I'm going to use my once per stream restart. That was not cool. <laughs> it's, a, it's a rare occasion, <laughs> but we're going to use our once per stream restart because I was making bad decisions, and, uh, and then the game took advantage of it. <laughs> Let's just forget that ever happened. Oh, okay. This is this has been this has been five hours. This is probably going to be our last mission. I got I got to play smart here because like, yeah. Sorry, sorry, Big Johnson. No virgins for you today. <laughs> Your God has sent you back to Earth. <laughs> You're not. He's not done with you yet. Oh, jeez. All right. You know what? Let's uh. Get those shields ready this time. Okay, shield followed by shotgun. That's how you're supposed to do it, right? Civilians over there. As far as we know, there's nothing coming around from that corner. We'll pretend that I don't know exactly what's coming up, so we still deploy smartly. 
just in case something comes around the corner. But uh, we are going to focus on going down south carefully this time. Alright. Okay, let's do this. Yeah. So now we know that guy's down there, no surprise. Instead of standing right here, where there's a yellow bar to the diagonal down, we're going to stand here. And we're all going to hide there. Or at least some of you are going to hide there. Alright. Then we're going to put someone with big guns up here in the corner. And now that we're pretty sure because no civilians died up here, we're going to start prepping a long range sniper fire. Although I'm a little concerned that we're going to get sort of flanked over this direction. But we've got a couple reaction shots that might or might not work. Okay. I think this is a little bit better than last time where I was kind of dumb. And a much better first round. Okay. So, how do we get through here? Um, it might be worth checking out this angle first. Yeah, definitely worth it. So what am I looking at? Second floor? Oh, no. It's right in front of him. Well, uh, deploy. You know what to do. This is why I like using assaults for stuff like that. I wonder if that was this guy. And instead of... Wouldn't we have seen him, though? That must have been another one that we didn't know about. Alright, let's just end the turn and see what happens. Okay. Let's check around this building first. Looks like the corner of the map. Alright. I feel like we should be able to move some people over here fairly safely. Although I'm still worried about, you know, what's in that alley. Let's reposition our shield man over here, and we'll move the sniper as well. Having a shield man for the sniper must be nice. Pixelated must feel well protected today. Ah, I saw something. Now that may have been a civilian getting killed. We need to have a look around this corner, basically. Also, notice that that door is open. That's always a dangerous thing. Oh, dead civilian. There's got to be something in here. Prepping. Oops, no, no. You hide there. Save your, save your rounds. Alright. We need to have a look down here. We've got to figure out what's going on. This time, the civilian's there and not dead. Maybe deployment is a little more random. Should be safer there. Should be safer there. There's definitely some killing going on that I'm not protecting. Or I'm not preventing, maybe. That door is very, very suspicious. Ah, we can see him. Alright, upper floor civilian... Uh, civilian season, technically. Alright. We want to make sure we stay out of his line of fire, if possible. The upper floor, like, try to hide over here. Line of sight is very difficult to predict.
There's no windows facing this direction from the second floor. I want to send uh, one of our shields in to find this this civilian. Who may be dead now. <laughs> Just hide in there. Actually, I should have waited till everyone was in there. Um, oops. Sorry, Big Johnson. I put you in a dangerous spot again. Got to get these guys a bit closer. Alright. Just got to keep it together. I definitely... <laughs> I definitely need a break. I don't think my tactical decisions are as good as they were for the first couple missions. Last time we made it through without anyone dying, without any reloading, so... I would like to get through this. Alright, we found one. We found two! No wonder we've been having such a hard time getting through this area. Car will block the grenade, probably. It's still worth a throw. Oof. Two shots of reaction fire. I guess you just have to trust in your shield. Uh, the grenade, I don't even know exactly where that landed. Did you guys see? Was it good? Was it a good grenade? Alright, um, Connor, you're going to go upstairs, prepare to deal with that civilian maybe next turn, at least try. Meanwhile, deploy, probably going to have to go around this way to get to it. Yeah, once you're right in here, you should be safe. under the car. Well, if the car explodes, we'll be fine as well. Wow. The only thing protecting Ruan is this uh, guard post. And I know there's something down here as well. Johnson? I can't... Uh, I'd like to close that door, but uh, we ran out of movement points for the shield guy. Alright, we can see it. Maybe the safest thing to do here is to... No, see there's a window here, so they have the sight. If we move out this direction, besides sort of this wall to hide, the, uh, the civilian will have a good shot. You just close that door. Hide out. Well, actually, hide out over here. It's probably safer. <laughs> oh, there is not a lot of safe spots on this map. Okay, we're going to move the shield guy up to here. The civilian won't be able to hit him. Um, if this guy moves out, then we'll have a good shot with the sniper next turn. Yeah, this has got to be the last mission. Sorry, Magus, but... Uh, Xenonauts is just about ready to start kicking my butt, so i got to take a break. Alright, wish me luck. We know where four aliens are. The grenade did nothing. Well, you survived. That's more than I was expecting. That shield took exactly 80 damage. Try another grenade. No, we have no TUs. Not enough TUs this time. Close the door. <laughs> How about from here? This is a flashbang. It would be blocked by a wall. Of course it would. How about this guy down here? Can we see him? hiding somewhere. Ah, uh, let's see. Okay, well first off, let's try um, to kill the civilian that's really causing us problems. So, Connor, I'm kind of counting on you to hit this really poor shot. Um, 13. I need you to duck down. 15 times 3. Come on. You got him once. Now we'll hide you out of the way. So that worked out pretty well. 
Let's look around with deploy. I mean, it's hard to imagine that there can be that many more aliens on the map. I'm going to leave you here with enough for a, sh a snapshot, or a normal shot, actually, if he comes around that corner. If he tries to run down the stairs, basically. This is reasonably good cover. I guess what we should do is like this. Get the heavy into position, maybe? I'm worried about the guy behind... See, the problem is... There's a few problems here. There's quite a few problems, to be honest. Alright, I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to risk this. We've gotta start dealing with these guys. Yeah, there's a lot of blocking that guy. Take this shot. Come on, 32%. Not even close. I mean a flashbang would be okay. Yeah. How much does it even take to throw? 44 TUs to even throw this thing. Hmm. Alright, well, there's not much else we can do right now. Um, close the door. Duck down. Shield gone, in fact. So we should switch over to the real weapon for next turn. Oh, they can shoot you through the door! Isn't that funny? I guess there's a small window on the door, but... Oh, come on! This is a bad mission. This is a really bad mission. This wasn't like a, uh, a landed, was it? This was a shot down. Well, that clears that up, at least. But, gee whiz. There's actually no doors. Oh, we can come through there. This is just brutal. Ah, uh, there he is. Alright, well we know he's shot. He shouldn't have a whole lot of team TUs saved up. Uh, let's go for as close of a guarantee kill as we can get. 23 TUs, duck. There we go. Alright, good job, Johnson. Pixelated went down, and the rookie with the, the shield got shot through a wall. Well, through a door, technically. Still can't throw. I guess that's why they didn't shoot here. They still can't see you through that guard tower. Well, this guy's dead, that guy's dead. There's two on this side. Sounds like we need a heavy. Alright, we should be in position to get some damage done next turn. Johnson's a little bit exposed. But he's got he's got the big balls. Alright. Still one up there somewhere. Alright, well let's do this. This is what shields are for. Uh, it is 22 for a normal shot. We only get one shot. 16 for a snap. We could get two snaps. Two snaps and a crouch. Whew. Good, good stuff. And very nice work, random rookie. We keep that spirit alive. Still one over there somewhere. Not on the roof though. We're gonna reposition somewhere with full cover. Or at least mostly cover. 
There you go. Johnson, you did your work. We can hide you out there. Uh, we killed the guy that was down there. The, the reason I had Deploy heading this way was to clear out this angle. And it turns out it wasn't needed. So we'll make sure there's nothing hiding over here, but I think we're good. And then Connor needs to get back and catch up with the game. Can't just jump out windows or nothing crazy. Right, if we can kill that one more that we know sort of where he's hiding, that would be... That'd be good. Alright, Mr. Shield. Full shield. Full life. It's, wonder if it's gone and killed that police officer that was over there. Yep. <laughs> Not a huge surprise. Alright, I don't think we'll need the whole crew for this, but we're definitely going to bring, like, three or four, just just to, you know, get as good odds as we can. We've been having a hard time with Seasons. They do a lot of damage. They got pretty good ammo, pretty good, um, pretty good um, accuracy. Now they've removed... Chances are there's nothing left over here. Six people left. Well, losing two could be a lot worse. Well, I mean, it's not over yet, but uh, I think we'll be okay here. Where does he see him? Oh, he's right behind the wall. You sneaky devil. Well, that was good hits. Alright, shotgun, totally your turn. Big Johnson! Show him what's what. There we go. Good. And that was it. There was nothing in the UFO. So, not a surprise that that was a difficult mission because they were all surrounding sort of that one central area. Even had one up on the high ground. And then three or four other. I mean. I guess there was only four aliens. No, there were six we killed. So there was one civilian and five blue ones. Yeah, we did pretty good. So we lot we got uh, two new sergeants. Connor's been promoted again with another kill. Ron got promoted. Big Johnson got two more kills. A uh, shield rookie did well. Another shield rookie got totally destroyed. But you know, half of half of them. That's good. We've got some lieutenants already, uh, Epic, so you're not actually the highest. Alright. I'm going to let some time go by, but I'm not going to do any more missions. I just want to see what's next. we got lots of injuries. Hopefully we get a little bit of time before people start dying. <laughs> Yeah, our, our top rank, in case you're wondering, is Lieutenant. We've got three. Dave, Johnson, and Warakim. Not even just one specific class either. That's pretty fair. Pretty fair. Alright. Just till we get to something... So that's what a fighter is. I didn't even show the battle. I should have showed you the battle. They're really not durable, but they're pretty quick. Interception mission, yeah. These are the guys that will shoot down... Your uh, your helicopter, your dropship. So definitely watch out for those if you're sending your uh, your your troops out to, to clear to clear a site. I mean, it'd be nice to get to the end of the month if we could make it. Laser weapons, yes. Heavy lasers. Well, we're definitely researching those right away. We might do alenium next. I think we upgrade our grenades and our fighter uh, missiles once we get some alenium information. So. That will be very useful. But now that we have um, an actual something to build, we start this out. So you can see each type of uh, weapon has sort of a cost that you'll have to pay for materials and then like a, a man hours. So um, we're going to start with the pistols actually because they are pretty cheap. Two, and they also require alloys. So. How many do we even have, for interest's sake? Uh, 
We currently have 25 alloys. Probably enough to get most of the laser weapons. What are you talking about, Epic? You don't need armor. You don't need armor. You just need more weapons. <laughs> so we're gonna get we're gonna give everyone a laser weapon. We're gonna get the heavy laser weapons. And then we're going to start working on maybe armor. Carbines are essentially the shotgun version. We will want two of those eventually. Laser rifles are the rifle version we'll want. Well, we'll start with two of each. But we need the heavies. The heavy is awesome. And we're going to start on the uh, the laser pistol. Now, if I had more engineers, this would go quicker than four days. The problem is I kind of didn't have money. We have room for five more workers, but we're kind of poor. Kind of interested to see if we can get to the end of the month here before I wrap it up. Because we should get an uh, influx of cash. Well, we'll probably get a mission right now. Oh, well, let's shoot it down. If we can catch it. Bam. Another one. Oh, wait. That's not a bam. That's a second. All right. All right. You got me. I'm not going to do these battles because light scouts versus a condor is automatic. Never anything to worry about. So that's what always happens. And I guess I should leave it here because uh, we've got at least one more mission and I'm not ready for it. So next time we do Xenonauts, I'll have to figure out the squad. Enough time has passed that basically everyone's healed up. So, uh, Felamic the Second is no longer missing an arm, and, uh, that's good. We've got currently three shields. We've only got one sniper. I think our snipers die a lot. Just bad luck. Um, the assaults have been doing really good, though. I'm happy with them. And, uh, I am looking forward to having better weapons, but... Actually, we might have one. Yeah. So, like, for instance, if I, uh, not I'm gonna do, I'm not gonna spend too much time here, but, uh, fella, we can assign you, and we could give you, wherever you are, instead of a boring normal pistol, we could give you a laser pistol. And then you don't even need this thing, because, um, if I hover over here for a second, I think... Do I have to look at it in the Xenopedia? Okay, hold on. Oh, wait, wait. That was it. There we go. You can look at all the numbers. So a laser pistol will do 45 damage at 10 range. It's got a reaction modifier that's pretty good. And it'll show you the percents of TUs to shoot and the, it's the appropriate accuracy. So 45 damage essentially, and it's all one shot, aimed or snap. A rifle, which was the old one, can only do 30 damage, even though you can shoot more bullets and longer range. So the laser pistol does considerably more damage than those just on its own. I think a laser rifle would be better, technically. 38? Actually, the pistol does more damage per shot, oddly enough, than the shotgun. Same as the rifle at shorter range. And the sniper rifle does even more at super long range. It's just, it costs a lot of TU to shoot. And it's bad at reacting. You can see, 0.5 reaction modifier. Shotguns and pistols have, I think, the best reaction modifier. And then uh, rifles are just even one times. Anyway, we'll, we'll look at laser weapons more once we get some of these things built. So, thanks for watching, YouTube. See you guys next time.